It was day four of the Big Atlantic Classic in Beckley with three girls basketball games on Thursday's schedule. Wyoming East has won their division each of the last two years and their quest for a third straight title began on Thursday against George Washington. Let's go out to Beckley. The Lady Warriors already have several wins this season against class AAA opponents. Very first possession of the game. Emily Saunders gets involved early with the block and then on the ensuing possession she receives a pass from Jazz Blankenship and is able to score from underneath and the Lady Warriors take the lead and then later in the first quarter, Saunders recording her 500th career block at Wyoming East. So GW would opt for the outside shot. Calissa Lacey receives a pass in the left corner, dials up a three and connects, makes it a 7-6 ball game. But on the other end, Jazz Blankenship responds, receiving a pass from Saunders. Her three is off the rim, but it's good, makes it a 12-6 ball game as this would quickly become a game of the three-pointer. Lacey dials up a shot from the right wing and connects, but then Blankenship answers on a later possession, receiving the pass and adding to her 14 points, which included four three-pointers. On the other end, Lacey would record 17 points on the night as this game would be tied at halftime, but behind Saunders, 22 points. The Lady Warriors pull away in the second half to win. Final score, 54-36. More girls basketball, Woodrow Wilson and Morgantown playing as part of the evening session in the first quarter. Elizabeth Cato over to Victoria Staunton on the wing. Bounce pass inside to Lakin Ball who finds space for the basket and she draws the foul. Lady Flying Eagles lead early but the Mohegans answer. Jaden Leneve tries a shot that is off target but Caitlin Ammons with the rebound and she finds space for the putback as the teams would trade the lead in the first quarter. This rebound out to Cato. She finds Staunton open for three on the wing. She connects. Beckley with the 11-10 lead after one and in the second quarter the Eagles go on a run. Ladeev's pass is intercepted by Chloe France who quickly capitalizes with the layup makes it 21-13 at that point. Morgantown though still making plays. Sydney Clodges out to Alexia Hughes back to Clodges for three from the corner count it but Woodrow Wilson keeps the momentum Staunton along the baseline out to France for a long two from the wing which she would make. Morgantown would mount a second half comeback attempt but Woodrow Wilson goes on to win final score 45-37. Summers County in action Thursday taking on Martinsburg in the first quarter. Lady Bulldogs working the ball around the perimeter. Deara Hairston dials up a three and connects. Martinsburg starts the game on a 5-0 run, but Summers County responds. Gavin Pavant inside to Maggie Stover. Her shot is blocked, but Pavant keeps the possession alive. She scores and draws the foul. Still in the first quarter, Prosperity Stitt with the turnover. Quickly races down court from the right side and connects on the layup. However, later for Summers County, after a defensive rebound, Pivant going down the middle of the court inside the paint, and she connects the layup. That will be the start of a run for the Lady Bobcats, as later in the first quarter, Taylor Isaac over to Bethany Klein on the left wing. A long pass back to Isaac on the right wing, open for three, count it, Summers County up 10-7. And then Isaac with a quick pass inside to Stover. Her shot is off target, but Erica Merrill with the rebound and the putback. However, Martinsburg would come from behind to win final score 43 to 39. Also on Thursday, the boys class double-A consolation game between Oak Hill and James Monroe. First quarter, Shad Savage driving in from the wing, puts up the floater, and he scores Mavericks up 6-5. But Oak Hill would retake the lead. Andrew Work from the left corner dials up a three and connects to make it 8-6. Later, Jason Mans with a long pass ahead to Work, who gets the fast break layup, and he draws the foul. Oak Hill extends the lead. However, the Mavericks continuing to make plays in the opening minutes. McKinley Mann receives the pass and finishes a two-handed dunk part of his game high 28 points as the Mavericks would retake the lead 14-13 but the Red Devils would establish momentum especially from outside the arc. Jason Mann dials up a three from the wing and would connect and then on later possession work with a three from the corner counted as Oak Hill would continue their success throughout the game from behind the arc and the Red Devils go on to win final score 82-45.